Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, January 13, 2022. If you like support channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. So we did start off really nicely. We went all the way up towards the 4,750, and then it kind of crashed back towards the 20 exponential, uh, banged around a little bit around this area here, and then just settled at 4,726. At this current stage, it looks like there's quite a lot of hesitation, and I wouldn't be surprised if we pull back towards the 50 moving average uh, and then continue higher. If we drop below the 50 moving average, then we may go and retest the 100 moving average yet again. If we manage to take out the top of this candlestick, then the very highs and probably 5,000 is what we are going to target, but it is going to be um, difficult. Um, because there's still uncertainty out there. It's still inflation numbers were still really, really bad. And uh, people are just looking at those numbers and then they are listening to the Fed and then they're, the market's basically getting confused. Should we basically try to push this higher or should we wait and then um, see how things turn out? But that is kind of where the market is at this current stage. But if you look at technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is still bearish. It is um, flattening out. We can see the RSI is bearish, and we can see that the CCI is bearish, and we can also see that the stochastic has just crossed the signal line, which is a fairly good sign. We're just right here at the middle of the bullish band, and and um, pullbacks and turnarounds is basically what I'm going to look at uh, for the foreseeable future. 50 moving average should offer support, and the 100 moving average definitely should offer support. So let's look at the Nasdaq. So the Nasdaq, uh, need to get rid of this. So it ran into resistant at the 40 and the 20 exponential moving average. We haven't even tested the 50 moving average yet. And uh, a pullback at this point, that should be expected, uh, probably to the 100 moving average, roughly down 2%, because we have actually rallied roughly 5.7% from the, from the lows here. And as a really nice rally and you basically should see a minor pullback before going higher if we break below the 100 moving average and then the 150 is down here at the 15,400 give or take and that should basically where we should find support so it's just a matter of time of a it's just probably just a matter of time this pulls back and then continues up towards the 50 if that breaks then the very highs here are roughly 16,700 is going to be targeted if you look at the MACD, it's still in negative territory, but it is turning around. RSI is basically flat, CCI is flat, and Stochastic has crossed the signal line and heading towards a green territory, which is a good sign. We have not broken above the middle of the bullish band, and that is a, a sign that we are probably going to see a lot of choppiness in the next few trades, uh, trading days, and probably on Friday, late Friday, when the US uh, uh, market opens, we may see a push to the upside. So, hope you find it helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.